15 News 5. Such a sad story. Hopefully somebody comes forward. Todd, thank you. New on WWT, prosecutors have cleared two Indiana officers after a deadly shooting following a domestic dispute. It was the first officer involved killing captured on police body camera worn by an Indiana State Trooper. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live out in Ripley County with the update on the investigation. Karen. Well, good afternoon, Kelly. The prosecutor here in Ripley County ruled the use of force by an Indiana State Trooper and a county deputy uh, was reasonable given all the known facts. 37-year-old Joshua Ebinger was shot and killed last October outside his girlfriend's house in Sunman. She had called 911 crying, say she and Ebinger had been fighting and he had a gun. According to new details just released during that call, Ebinger can be heard yelling a prof profane tirade that the system was responsible for his behavior and that, quote, they better make sure they kill me or I'm going to kill one of them. Four officers from three agencies responded. Ebbingen's girlfriend walked out of the house and she was moved to a safe area. The prosecutor says Ebbinger eventually walked out with a semi-automatic pistol in his hand and pointed it first at a trooper, Trooper Ben Baston. Baston showed restraint at that time, did not fire. Then the prosecutor says Ebbinger pointed his gun at two deputies. That's when Bastin and Deputy A.J. Smith both fired their weapons, hitting Ebinger several times. He died at the scene. I can't get into what, it, what was in his mind, but the statements that he was making certainly uh, lead us to believe that, uh, you know, again, quote, ready, I'm ready to go. Better make sure they kill me or I'm going to kill one of them. I want them to come here. I'm ready for them. Th th those were the statements he made. So, I mean, I think we all can kind of draw our own conclusions, but for me to speculate as to what he meant or what he was going to do or whether he was looking for a suicide by, by cop, I, I can't answer that. Now, Trooper Vastin was wearing a body-worn camera. ISP says that footage will be released to us today. ISP has been wearing body cams since last year, and uh, they tell me this is the first time uh, since they've gotten the cameras that there has been a deadly police-involved shooting involving the state police. Reporting live tonight in Versailles, Indiana, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.